Shalom, hi everyone, it's Tirza. Let's discover together what Parasha Bihar Behukotai is teaching us. In this week's Parasha, Hashem communicates to Moshe Rabbeinu the loss of the sabbatical year. Every seventh year, all the work on the land shall cease, and its produce becomes free for the taking of all, men and beast. This is called in Hebrew Shemitah. The institution of Shemitah law is referred to in Shemot Parashat Mishpatim. It is stated, In the seventh year, you shall let it go and abandon it. So these are the two main concepts of the Shemitah year, the sabbatical year. To let it go, that is, not to work on the land, and to abandon it. Meaning to treat whatever grows on it as hekefer ownerless, and to let anyone take from it. Additionally, the owner of the land may not take more than the necessary for his immediate needs. This mitzvah requires a great sacrifice and trust in Hashem. Its purpose is to teach us to moderate our sense of attachment to material possessions. Our rabbi, Benzion Klatsko, has a very simple and true saying that our material possessions are no more than rubber, plastic, and metal. At this time, we are indeed challenged to an elevated level of self-sacrifice and outpouring of chesed. We need to focus more on others than on ourselves and to loosen our individualism. In fact, it is our ego and our false importance given to our possessions that sometimes keep us apart from communicating and connecting with others. And that's it. The less we focus on material possessions, the higher we can achieve and strive a true good relationship with the Almighty. Because the primary goal and main focus of our lives is to be attached to our Creator. This is our main goal, and to leave all the worldly possessions secondary. With all of this in mind, the Shabbat.com team wants to wish you an amazing Shabbat. And may you connect to Hashem and realize that worldly possessions are no more than rubber, plastic, and metal. Shabbat Shalom.